Good girl, Charlie. Some more wards I could place on it if I can just get time. Hunter, what you've got there is the latest in custom alloy, handcrafted, magically protected personal protective gear. Yes, thanks to the symbiote sample young Mr. Parker recovered, we were able to isolate the alien energy signature that appeared to be causing you so much trouble. With this armor, you should now be able to get close enough to Venom to take him down. This time without, you know, exploding. It feels good. Now, just get me back to New York and I will handle the rest. Oh, you are gonna love this. The shielding powers of the Vishanti on the Fate Breaker armor will make the hunter indestructible. Oh, well, my bottom level design handled that nicely. The new outfit looks spectacular. Just really badass. Oh, thank you. It's amazing what a little teamwork can produce. Teamwork? Oh, you mean Stark and Strange. They finally got along enough to make this. I just hope it's enough to stop Venom. I do not know if it will be enough. And neither do Stark and Strange. The armor may be Faithbreaker, but I have faith it will work. Oh, a little wordplay. You should use that line on Tony. It would probably bring a tear to his eye. I could discuss this armor all day, but... Oh, I know. You've got a date with a symbiote. Don't let me stand in the way. Good luck out there. The new armor suits you. It looks pretty spectacular. Jealous? Incredibly. If you like it, I can see about having Strange and Stark make one for you as well. Those two? Pfft. They barely kept it together long enough to make this for you. I'm not gonna push my luck. Besides, I got my own style. Hey, can I ask a favor? What do you think about Hunter's armor? Looks slick, huh? Very slick. Venom won't know what hit him. Stark and Strange do good work. When they aren't bickering, that is. Oh, they bicker. A lot. I think you look pretty good in that armor. Hmm? What's that? Uh, nothing. When Venom sees your armor, he will know fear. Rest easy, Spider-Man. I have dealt with the unknowable before. Yes, but have you ever worn clothes with their own appetite? I know symbiotic alien goop can seem like a cool idea, but take it from me. Not worth it one bit. The symbiote gets in your brain and makes you do things you'd never ordinarily do. I admit this sounds uncomfortable, but we both know that a hero's journey rarely leads to a fluffy bed and a good night's rest. The Sanctum Sanctorum falling to Hydra would harm innocents and is therefore worth the risk. Look, I didn't think I could talk you out of it. But if you feel the urge to eat people, it means take the suit off immediately. Do not worry, Peter. If I feel cannibalistic, I will strip down to my undergarments. When that happened to me, I had to wear a paper bag for a mask. Every time I tell that story, people always wisecrack that a paper bag is an improvement over my usual costume. No comment. At two, Hunter? At two? I guess there's no other way, huh? 
Only this suit can penetrate the symbiote barrier around the Sanctum. Yeah, I hear that too. What's its worse with me? The Sanctum Sanctorum is wearing a symbiote. Alien-possessed architecture gives me the extra creeps. To stand against the forces seeking to fulfill the prophecy, we must conquer what terrors hold us from our duty. Fear holds us back. Fear makes us small. Eh, you can't fault a scientist for voicing an abundance of caution. I cannot. And your warning is heard, Spider-Man. I shall be alert and ready should the suit try and tempt me. Hey, that's all I needed to hear. Hunter, I hate to say something as cliché as, you got this. So I'll say something cheesier. I believe in you. Just be careful wearing that extraterrestrial tracksuit, Hunter. Last thing we want is for you to turn against us. Thank you for your concern, Spider-Man. Thanks for hearing me out, Hunter. Perhaps, Aunt, the Spider-Man is correct. This is not the first time we've used the weapons of the enemy to fight our enemy. And it will not be the last. But it is your decision, Hunter. You are the one wearing it. If Spider-Man is correct, we cannot risk another symbiote falling into Lilith's hands. Once it is no longer needed, we must ensure nobody can use it ever again. Perhaps. But who can say how long we will need it? Lilith may have an army of these creatures hidden from our sight. If she had, she would have already sent them after us. Do not be so hasty to drown thy books, Hunter. When we stop Lilith for good, it's prudent to remove this suit from creation. I suppose I do have a single misgiving, Hunter. If the symbiote has any unusual reactions to your collar, well, keep an eye on it. And be sure to let me know as soon as possible. I feel like it goes without saying. If anything compromises the integrity of the collar, it is important, correct? That is correct. Your collar and your life are intrinsically linked. We would need to mitigate any damage to save your life. Hunter, you must take extreme caution in all actions. The threads binding our reality together are inextricably bound in surprising ways. Sometimes they are stitches, other times knots or tangles. Reckless action and needless risk are the threats we must be most aware of. Now, put on your alien suit and go free the Sanctum Sanctorum of Lilith's corruption. I do not believe Spider-Man's fears to be founded, but nothing is certain. However, if he is right, I fully expect Spider-Man to be annoying about it. So don't let that happen. Remember, if your collar reacts oddly to the symbiote, alert me immediately. I'm glad Tony and Steven were able to work together. It's imperative we get the Sanctum back. Still no sign of Venom. The Parker boy really came through. Even with his disappearance, his pet symbiote has unfortunately not given up its taste for my sanctum. Neither has Hydra. They've upped the guard again, which I didn't even think was possible. This symbiote creature has had a stranglehold on us long enough. It is time to strike. Are you sure that thing is safe? Well, we didn't exactly have a manual, but the science and spooky bits are sound. You should be well protected. It's a big risk. So is leaving Lilith in command of the Sanctum. You're both right. But I bet you have another option. Sorry, didn't mean to spoil your moment. A frontal assault has too many variables, but there's always the hole. The back door. Of course. I know the risks, but at some point we have to start believing in each other. In ourselves. Your design will hold. 
we would never let you step into battle unprepared. Besides, what was the first rule of demon hunting you taught me? If at first you don't succeed, stab, stab, stab again. again. Aw, you think Reed and Sue have such heartwarming moments with Johnny and Ben? <laughs> We're gonna get the Sanctum back for Strange. I like your optimism. Thanks. I have a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling about you. What was that? Uh, nothing. Boo Hydra. smash through that symbiote. Now you'll just have to do it a few more times. Oh, and try not to bring the roof down on your heads in the process. I think I can hear the Never get old, kiddo.
get it. Someone feel a breeze. It's a little late for hiding. So far with all. Hydra sure does get around. Are we sure they don't have a limbo portal too? like they just missed their mom. It's too bad those gloves won't work for anyone else. Would love to see Carol look Captain Marvel, not those tendrils as a car. Aw, oh, Blade. Such a sweet talker. Indeed. For now, leave the Faith Breaker to me. It was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time has clearly passed. Advantage is mine. has changed among the world's fanatics. warm bodies in there until you're exhausted. Try and focus on the symbiote, not the soldiers. We got company. Make the same mistake twice.
like one of Blade's action movies right now, but go! Get to the safe zone! excitement, I guess. The little sorcerer returns home. Can't say I like what you've done with the place, demon mother, or my friend. No matter. Already, the power of the sanctum returns to me. Your days of plundering its secrets end today! But that was never the plan. Now. Yes, mother. has torn through the wards themselves. If we are to have any chance of stopping Lilith, we must interrupt her mystic's ritual and seal... Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. They deserve no mercy. Demons will be your undoing.
something from the depths. Ultra's in control of the situation. Fascism. Hmm. Hydra will never change. Do not show the servants of Lilith any mercy. My blade certainly will not. Nice. A little less friendly than my neighborhood, but uh, gets the point across. Carol would be so proud of you right now. Despite decades of ineptitude. I know I'm new to this old prophecy game, Doc, but none of this is good, is it? No, Peter, it is not. Perhaps you and a hunter should retreat to a safe distance while I rectify the situation. I will be. What? Two steps behind us? I've seen too many movies to fall for that one. I'm staying. As am I. Mystics fall before us. Stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. Mercy to the servants of Lilith. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. on hired hands occasionally.
I'm on it! Interesting tactic. Interesting tactic. Well done, my friends. Good, right? 